So for this drop of question, we are, can I yeah. drop a question, drop a question? Okay, sorry. That's okay. So for this drop of question, we are solving a rational equation. 2 over s minus 5 equals 7 over 10s minus 7. The first step we're going to do is find the LCD because they're not the same denominators and we need to make them the same denominators when solving rational expressions, equations. <laughs> Our LCD in this case will be one of the same group. In each denominator, what we have here, we need to make sure that when solving it, our answers are viable. We can't divide by zero, so if we set each denominator not equal to zero and solve for my variable s, I need to add 5 to both sides, so I know that s cannot be equal to 5. When I'm finished solving for this, I need to double check my answer and make sure it's not equal to 5, because when I plug in 5 here, 5 minus 5 will be 0, and I can't divide by 0. So we need to make sure that our answer is not 5. And for the other fraction, 10s minus 7, not equal to 0. When solving for this, I need to add 7 on the other side, and then divide by 10. So I have that 7 cannot be equal, s cannot be equal to 7 over 10. So when I solve for this, I'm going to just keep in mind to check my answers and make sure that they're, that they're not this. And if they are, I can't include that within my final answer. So now that I have that, now that I, have that I can actually have, see my LCD and compare it to the rational equation I have. For this first expression, for this first rational expression, I have s minus 5 here, but it's missing 10s minus 7. So I'm going to multiply that to the numerator and denominator. And then for the second, I have 10s minus 7, but the LCD says it also needs to have s minus 5. So that group I'm going to multiply to the numerator and denominator. I wrote 7. This should have been a 5. Now when I'm simplifying this, both sides have the same denominator. 10s minus 7, s minus 5. Same denominator on this side as well. And my numerators, I'm just going to go ahead and write the 2 first. It doesn't matter, it will get distributed either way the same. Now when I'm here, I realize that once I have the same denominators on both sides of the equation, that all my terms have the same denominator, I can multiply my whole equation by the LCD. And what that does is it will cancel out these denominators and simplify my equation. So I'll cancel these two with this. And now all that's left is my numerators equaling each other. 10s minus 7 multiplied by 2 equals by 7 times s minus 5. So now that we have this equation, we can distribute both sides. We'll have 20s minus 14 equaling 7s minus 35. I need to get my s's on one side of the equation, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7s to both sides. I'm left with 13s minus 14 equaling negative 35. And now I have to add 14 to both sides, which will leave me with 13s equaling negative 21 Right. And then divide 13 both sides, where s is now equal to negative 21 over 13. If I check my answers, I'm going to make sure that s is not equal to 5 and not equal to 7 over 10. This is my most simplest answer that I can get, and it doesn't fall within these, so I know 
that this is a viable answer.